Linux distros that look better than Mac OS aren't just about visuals. They represent an entire movement of freedom-driven design, user-centered customization, and aesthetic creativity that Apple's closed ecosystem cannot match. Today's video dives deep into the world of Linux. Distributions that are not only visually appealing, but are redefining modern desktop beauty in ways that make Mac OS feel static, predictable, and surprisingly limited. When people think of polished design, animated transitions, blurred transparency, subtle color gradients and fluid workflows, they often assume Mac OS is unbeatable. But when you step into the Linux universe, you quickly realize that Mac OS is just one design philosophy in a much bigger world filled with stunning alternatives that often look fresher, more futuristic, and more customizable. This video explores the distros that not only match Apple's visual polish, but exceed it, offering experiences that Apple users can only dream of without jailbreaking, hacking, or giving up their wallet. Imagine sitting down at a computer running an operating system that looks like it was designed by a team of futuristic UI scientists, where every detail from the icons to the widgets to the blur behind a window feels like it belongs in 2025 and beyond. This is where Linux distros shine, particularly the ones focused on form with substance. Mac OS has relied on materials, transparency, and a sense of minimalism, but because Apple controls the entire environment, it doesn't evolve fast. Meanwhile, Linux designers iterate continuously, experiment boldly, and listen directly to the community. That creative freedom gives birth to distros that look cleaner, more customizable, and visually superior to Mac OS, while still being lightweight and insanely fast. The first type of Linux experience that eclipses Mac OS is the one that offers deep customization without breaking coherence. Mac OS looks good because it's consistent, but that consistency becomes a cage. Linux lets you build your own design language on top of a stable foundation. Whether it's KDE Plasma, Cosmic, GNOME extensions, or custom window managers, Linux opens design possibilities that go far beyond macOS's static wallpapers and locked UI. Distros like Garuda Linux, for instance, embrace neon gradients, animated panels, sharp typography, blurred transparent windows, and cohesive icon themes that look more cinematic than anything Apple ships. The moment you boot into such a system, you feel like you're entering a cyberpunk workstation rather than a traditional desktop. This is one reason so many creators switch. Linux distros don't just look modern, they feel alive. Another incredible aspect is that Linux distros can mimic Mac OS perfectly, while also surpassing it visually. Elementary OS is an example of a distro that learned from Apple's design philosophy, but refused to remain a copy. It delivers a Pantheon desktop environment that feels like Mac OS at first glance, but becomes more elegant the longer you use it. Everything is cleaner, lighter, and more refined. The animations are smoother than many Apple transitions, and the minimalism feels purposeful instead of restrictive. It offers a feeling of familiarity without the limitations, letting users experience the beauty of Mac OS without being trapped inside Apple's garden. Linux gives users a taste of Apple's polish, but elevates it with the power of customization, open source creativity, and performance that macOS often struggles to match on older hardware. Then there are distros like Deepin, designed with a level of visual mastery that feels like an entirely new generation of desktop computing. Deepin is often mistaken for a high-budget commercial OS because its aesthetics are so polished and cohesive. The control center slides in like a futuristic panel. The window effects are ultra-fluid, and the iconography is modern and playful without ever feeling childish. The deepened desktop environment is brimming with smooth curves, rounded edges, natural motion, and UI spacing that rivals top-tier design systems. Using Deepin feels like sitting at a luxury workstation, where every window and animation is crafted with deliberate artistry. Mac OS begins to feel almost old-school in comparison because Deepin pushes the limits of contrast, color, depth, and dimensional layering in ways that Apple no longer experiments with. The next layer of Linux beauty comes from KDE Plasma, arguably the most visually customizable desktop environment in the world. macOS restricts you to a dock, a top bar, light mode, dark mode, and a few wallpapers. Plasma, on the other hand, is like a canvas for artists. You can design every corner of your desktop. Transparent widgets with glass-like blur effects, animated menus, glossy icon sets, latte dock or custom panel arrangements, 
and global themes that transform the entire system from top to bottom. Plasma themes often achieve levels of beauty macOS never touches, frosted glass with dynamic blur, material-inspired shadows, neon-accented highlights, three-dimensional dock reflections, and layout flexibility beyond anything Apple's ecosystem allows. A plasma-based distro like KDE Neon or Garuda Dragonized allows you to build a desktop that looks like macOS on steroids faster, clearer, sharper, and more customizable. Plasma can look like macOS, Windows, a futuristic spaceship interface, or something completely original. Once someone spends a week customizing Plasma, macOS's locked UI feels outdated and rigid. Another distro worth celebrating is Zorin OS, built specifically to offer a premium visual experience without overwhelming users. Zorin offers clean design, balanced typography, soft animations, and layouts inspired by macOS, but improved with the clarity and simplicity of modern Linux design trends. Core elements like the taskbar file manager and settings window are simplified and optimized in ways that Apple rarely attempts because of its commitment to long-standing design patterns. Zorin OS feels modern, lightweight, and beautifully crafted. It offers a calm, balanced, productive environment that's visually soothing and far more flexible than macOS. With built-in layouts that instantly switch between macOS-like, Windows-like, or unique Zorin styles, it gives users the best of all worlds. The polish and uniformity of Zorin OS makes it feel like a premium product, yet it runs efficiently on all hardware. Let's talk about Cosmic, the upcoming desktop environment from System76, which is redefining the aesthetics of Linux for 2025 and beyond. Cosmic offers buttery smooth animations, beautifully spaced UI elements, buttery transitions, and a modular design system that beats macOS in both feel and flexibility. The Control Center, Workspace Switcher, Multitasking Overview, and Dock all feel like they're designed for the future of touch, keyboard, and hybrid workflows. Even in its early builds, Cosmic is praised for its elegance and responsiveness. Unlike macOS, which tries to maintain a single layout across devices, Cosmic is built for adaptability. It's a modern desktop with shapes, colors, shadows, and transitions that feel alive. Apple's design feels conservative in comparison, sticking to what worked in the past, while Cosmic dares to explore something new, bold, and beautifully ergonomic. Another stunning Linux experience comes from Budgie. It's known for its clean interface, reminiscent of Mac OS, but with more breathing room sharper shadows, and better placement of UI elements. Budgie's Raven sidebar is a masterpiece of clean design, combining notifications, widgets, controls, and customization in a way macOS hasn't offered since Dashboard was removed. The simplicity of Budgie aligned with gorgeous themes and modern icon packs makes it a perfect option for people who want beauty without complexity. Budgie feels like what macOS would look like if Apple modernized the interface more aggressively rather than maintaining legacy design constraints. It balances minimalism with personality, delivering a premium visual experience that looks and feels better than macOS on many setups. We also cannot ignore the world of tiling window managers, especially when combined with modern theming. While tiling window managers are known for minimalism, many modern themes create interfaces that look cleaner than macOS by default. Setups that use HyperOned or Wayfire offer animations and transitions so smooth they rival macOS's iconic effects. Imagine opening a window and seeing motion blur, smooth curved edges, and gentle elasticity, not because Apple provided it, but because the Linux compositor makes it possible. These environments push aesthetic innovation far beyond the predictable patterns of macOS, offering pixel-perfect beauty powered by open-source creativity. One thing users consistently say after switching is that Linux distros simply feel more modern than macOS. Apple's interface hasn't changed drastically for years, and the design language is starting to feel static. Linux distros, by contrast, evolve constantly. Developers introduce new effects, new layouts, new control centers, new animations, and new customization options. MacOS updates often focus on app changes or hardware integration rather than bold UI improvements. Meanwhile, Linux distros regularly introduce visually revolutionary ideas, dynamic color systems that adapt to wallpapers, enhanced transparency effects, customizable dock physics, multi-panel workflows, ultralight themes, multi-accent color support, shadow engines, gesture systems, and more.
These innovations give Linux desktops a sense of progression that makes macOS feel frozen in time. A major advantage of Linux aesthetics is that they don't demand high-end hardware. macOS looks good, but only when running on expensive Apple hardware. Try running macOS-like effects on older Macs, and you'll feel the sluggishness immediately. Linux distros, however, are optimized incredibly well. KDE Plasma can run its most stunning effects on mid-range and even low-end systems. Deepin delivers gorgeous animations on hardware that would struggle with macOS Ventura or macOS Sonoma. Budgie stays smooth, even on decade-old laptops. This efficiency means more people can experience beautiful desktop computing without spending hundreds or thousands on Apple's ecosystem. Another beauty advantage Linux has is identity. Mac OS has one identity, simple, soft, friendly, minimal. But Linux distros express entire design personalities. Garuda is bold and neon. Deepin is clean and luxurious. Elementary is airy and minimal. Yes. Zorin is premium and balanced. Yes. KDE Neon is modern and fully adaptable. System76 Pop and Cosmic are futuristic and productivity-driven. High-prone setups are ultra-minimal and fluid. Each distro has its own soul, its own aesthetic message, its own energy. Mac OS cannot compete with this level of diversity. Even if Apple wanted to offer multiple design styles, the company's philosophy of strict consistency wouldn't allow it. Linux thrives on the opposite, diversity and creativity. Many creators who switch to visually premium Linux distros often say something interesting. Using Linux simply feels more fun. Mac OS feels serious, professional, and sometimes too polished to the point of predictability. Linux distros allow you to play with your system, evolve it, personalize it, experiment, and make it truly yours. When your desktop environment reflects your personality, you enjoy using your machine more. You feel more connected to your workflow. And when it looks stunning on top of that, productivity becomes more enjoyable. That feeling of ownership of being able to shape your digital space is something macOS simply doesn't offer. What's surprising to many macOS fans is how cohesive modern Linux distros have become. Gone are the days when Linux meant ugly UI, inconsistent menu bars, messy theming, and glitchy icons. Eight. Today's premium distros look unified, clean, and professional. No. Deep in and elementary. For instance, look like commercial products with strict design guidelines. K-Day Plasma has matured to the point where it's more stable and visually consistent than many mainstream operating systems. Zorin OS feels like a polished commercial UI built with obsessive attention to detail. Linux, once known for function over form, has evolved into an ecosystem where form and function coexist beautifully. When we talk about Linux distros looking better than Mac OS, we're not saying Mac OS is ugly, it's elegant, stable, iconic. But Apple's design is limited by its own philosophy. Linux is not. Because of that, Linux can be futuristic. Linux can be experimental. Linux can be bold. Linux can mimic Mac OS, surpass Mac OS, or become something entirely new. That flexibility is why Linux aesthetics shine. So when people ask whether Linux distros look better than Mac OS, the answer is increasingly yes. Not because one is objectively superior, but because Linux offers more beauty choices, more customization, more visual freedom, more dynamic motion, and more room to experiment. Whether you choose a Mac OS-inspired distro or something completely original, Linux offers beauty with power. And that's the story. A story of innovation, creativity, artistic freedom, where Linux is no longer the scrappy underdog, but a leader in modern desktop experience. Mac OS paved the way, but Linux is opening the door to the future.